Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example in which we will use set coils. So let's start. Example 7. If switch 1 is on, then LED 1 and LED 2 will be on. If switch 1 is off, then LED 1 and LED 2 will be still on. If switch 2 is on, then LED 3 and LED 4 will be on. If switch 2 is off, then LED 3 and LED 4 will be still on. So here, when switch 1 is turned on, two LEDs turn on. But when that switch is turned off, the two LEDs still remain on. So to attain this situation, we need to use a spatial coil that is known as set coil. So what does set coil do? It does is that when the switch is turned on, the, that coil turns on, but when the input is off, that coil still remains on. That is the use of set coil. So for LED 1, LED 2, LED 3 and LED 4, we, are, we will be using set coils. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw the LiDAR diagram use set coil for LEDs and also do the simulation. So this is the overview of uh, TI portal. Let's go to PLC tags, default tag table and here we need to add inputs switch 1 and switch 2. So I will drag it like this. And then I have four LEDs, say LED 1 and then I will assign address to it as Q as it is a output. So it will start with Q 0.0, .0. and then we have four LEDs. So I will click on here and then drag it like this. So LED 2, LED 3 and LED 4 will be automatically fetched. So let's minimize this and then we'll go to we'll go to program blocks and then main OP1. So here we will be drawing ladder diagram and use set coils. So I will zoom in a little bit like this and then I will insert a normally open contact for switch 1 and then here there will be LED 1 and LED 2 which will be turned on by this switch 1. So I will insert coil and then here I will uh, open uh, the branch here and then one more coil. So after this we need to change the coil to set coil. So it will be like this S and then we will also change this as S. So I will assign address to it as LED1 and then this will be LED2. So what happens is that when switch 1 is turned on, LED1 and LED2 will be turned on, but switch 1, when switch 1 is turned off, this LED1 and LED2 should turn off. But because of set coil, these LEDs will still remain on. Similarly, for switch 2, I will insert a coil and then for LED3, a coil and then I will open the branch like this and then one more coil. So, this coil will be used as set coil, not a simple coil. So, I will change it like this. I will click on this S and similarly for this. Yes. So, this will be for LED3. I will type L and LED3 will be selected from the list and similarly L and then LED4 selected. And then this switch will be switch 2. Switch 2. So similarly when switch 2 is on, LED3 and LED4 will be turned on. But when switch 2 is turned off, it should be turned on. These LEDs should have been turned off. But we are using set coils, so these LEDs will still remain on. So let's do the simulation. I will start the simulation here. And then I will start the CPU here. This compiling the configuration. After that, I will start CPU. So before that, I will click on load and then finish. And then I can now start the CPU and then OK. 
After that, I will click on this monitoring on or off and then I will switch to project view. And then let's create a new project to do the simulation here to control the inputs. And then I will click on this and then simulation table and then simulation table one. After that, I will right click here and then load project tax. So as you can see here, when I turn on switch one, when I turn on switch one, LED one and LED two gets on. So as you can see here, LED one and LED two both are true. And then when I turn off switch one, switch one is false, but LED one and LED two still remains on. As you can see here, LED one and LED two are still true. And similarly, for switch one, switch two, when I turn on switch two, LED three, LED three and LED four turns on. And then when I will turn off switch two, LED three and LED four should have been turned off. But instead of that, this it will remain true. As you can see here, LED three is true. You can see the green color that indicates that LED three and LED four are still on. You can also see here LED three and LED four are still on. It was all about set coils using set coils. Thank you for watching.